Located in the same continent of Asia, India and Vietnam have got the age-owned relationship. That relationship has been raised to the contemporary level by Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, President Ho Chi Minh, and the other leaders of the two countries. Vietnam and India have for many generations been preserving this close relationship to promote to peace and friendship among the nations. In the early centuries AD, Primordial inhabitants of the south of Indochina Peninsula and islands, including two tribes of Cao and Zhe, resided in the present central Vietnam on the basis of the wet rice farming. This process took place at the same time as the discovery and development of maritime route from the Indian Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. The Champa Kingdom, as also other ancient kingdoms, located in Southeast Asia, quickly became an attractive area, satisfying essential demand of Indian merchants, immigrants, and missionaries to expand the trading market, to find out specialities, and to preach religions. Customs and practice, greed and religious belief, and other cultural elements of Indian civilization also entered in the same stream. Beside primordial religious forms, Brahmanism was more and more engraved in the religious life of Cham inhabitants, which formed the basis integrated into which were other religions like Buddhism. The Cham architectural arts reached the excellent level with the skills and aesthetic sense of Cham people when they did not imitate exactly but with their own selection and creation. Forms and lines of those statues of gods and goddesses, animals, and Indian dancers in Champa are not like that of gods of the same kinds found in India and in other countries. Faces of the statues of gods are not so severe. Statues of Apsara dancers in Champa are charming without exaggeration of sexual characteristics like statues of Apsara in India or Apsara in Cambodia. The sound of Bana, drum, and Quran scriptures of the Cham community during their prayer to Allah can be heard here and there. Islam came to India in the early 7th century. Only from 1880 and 1900, Indian Muslims reached the south of Vietnam to build up a mosque in Anzang. The beauty in the traditional culture in Cham villages in Anzang has survived along with the belief of the Islamic devotees. There are many other Indian mosques on the lines of mosques in India. Ho Chi Minh City is a cultural center with the shape of a young city having the depth of national tradition and diversified with other cultural aspects of which Indian civilization must be mentioned as a civilization of cradle of mankind. In Hanoi capital, with its 990-year history, many traces of the ancient culture still remain, particularly the traces of Chinese and Indian cultures. Nobody can forget the system of the most hectic trading streets in the capital, namely Hang Dao, Hang Ngang, Hang Duong streets, with shops selling fabrics and restaurants run by Indian people in the early century. Since the 19th century, the Indian community has come to live and work in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. They built temples of Hinduism, Brahmanism, Islam, Sikhism, etc. Opened restaurants for selling goat milk, milk cakes, and Indian foods. It can be said that when I visited India for the first time in 1956, I was very surprised and wondered how close this country has been to Vietnam. Over many continuous centuries, Buddhist thought, arts, and science of India have spread over the world. Yes, and ever more, they have made a firm basis for the friendly relations between Vietnam as also other countries and India.